Hello beautiful family, it's Stephen here and we are on the 18th of February in the year 2022 and if you are new to this channel, well I am a street preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ because when a man or woman believes it, they are granted everlasting life and a place in heaven because there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved Jesus Christ because the Bible the Word of God tells us that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for everybody that believes no matter what you have done so God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish that means hell but have everlasting life and their name shall be written in heaven and the only requirement for you to be saved is not that you go to church every Sunday or not that you get religious but that you have some faith and you believe in the Son of God, Jesus, who died on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin. When you believe that he was buried and rose again from the dead and that he did that for you, for your sins, you believe it in your heart and you, you know that he rose again from the dead and you say, come into my life Lord Jesus or you are my Lord Jesus um, confess the Lord Jesus as confess Jesus as Lord believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and you will be saved um, that's in the book of Romans 10 uh, verse 9 to 13 um, the Bible says we all have sinned which is in Romans 3 23 I think it is and that the wages of sin is death that's in Romans 6 23 so it's in the Word of God and this is more reliable than anything else in this world in fact this word is magnified above all the name of God all God's name he has magnified his word far above his name um, and his word, sorry, his word is like a sharp two-edged sword. Um, it's quick and it's powerful. Um, please, and I hope if you haven't laid hold of salvation that you realize that you need a savior. Because we've all sinned. Be humble enough to say, yeah, I do, I need forgiveness. Believe in your heart. That Jesus paid the penalty for you on the cross and it's a done deal you don't earn it um, there's nothing you could do to earn it it's for by God's grace are we saved through our faith in Jesus and it's not of ourselves it is the free gift of God not by works lest any man should boast um, so there's the gospel and if you haven't believed already at this very late hour then please believe because Jesus loves you and once you have believed you'll be sealed with Holy Spirit and you'll never lose your salvation and at this this moment in time there's never been a time more pressing and more urgent that you believe if you haven't and lay hold of your salvation by believing the gospel remember it's not by our good works and it doesn't matter what you've done Jesus will receive everybody who goes to him in truth all he's asking is that you be true humble say yes I need a savior yes I believe it Jesus come into my life and bush he'll baptize you in holy spirit which will be with you forever he will never leave you he'll never forsake you and he'll bring you out of every evil work 
Um, so there's that. And you don't want to be here for what's coming upon this world. Because first of all, Jesus Christ is about to come. He's going to descend from heaven. And all who have ever believed, well, he's going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus in the rapture. And then this world is going to be turned upside down during the great tribulation. That's what Jesus described it as the great tribulation. A time so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never has been again and there never will be again I mean and Jesus said that men's hearts will faint with fear when they see what is coming upon this world so please this is the most urgent call to lay hold of your salvation if you haven't please don't take the gamble don't wait until you witness all these people vanish and the missiles come down lay hold of your salvation now um, because war is coming war is coming and it's biblical and we are in the final moments of the end of the end oh dear loving heavenly father i just pray over this i just pray that you will be glorified father god especially when i read your word and and when i recite your word and quote your word i pray lord god um it will be like that sharp two-edged sword lord and I, I pray in jesus name that everybody will be go away from here blessed and uplifted and encouraged and lord god just um yes in jesus mighty name and you fill everybody with holy spirit lord as i as i recite your word in jesus mighty name amen so guys um i have already prayed before i did this video but i'm a type of guy who will just do a video spur of the moment and you'll see you'll see me out of the spirit sometimes in the flesh perhaps um you might see me looking ill but i'm going to show my face every single day and at the moment i've got terrible toothache and um i've tried <laughs> i've tried to get a dentist i'm just going to cut a long story short i've um three four five six seven seven times <laughs> i have spoken to different people and um I, I couldn't get a dentist um and today i rang one fortunately it was a uh, uh, subscriber Brian thank you he sent me a number for what um, a clinic in Scarborough that takes emergency patients um, because this is an emergency my whole side of my head is keeps feeling bruised it's not at the moment fortunately and I've got clove oil on my tooth at the moment so it's not hurting but um, it needs sorting out anyway and um, Monday morning I ring 10 30 and the lady said uh you you'll get an appointment and i said is that definite and she said is she said i can't say it's definite i said is it likely and she said yes so she said ring so i'll be the first to ring on monday morning i'll, I'll start at, i mean quarter past 10 and just keep ringing until the answer <laughs> because i'm desperate now i need some antibiotics um so so that aside um i'm dealing with it i can manage it if it wasn't for clove oil coconut oil garlic hydrogen peroxide salt if it weren't for these things which god has provided um i wouldn't have been able to manage it but he's also given me comfort and i said lord how do you want me to conduct myself and manage this problem um, and he's guiding me and he's holding my hand um, through it and all I need to do 
the, the Bible says the reason we don't have, have what we want is that we don't ask God for it. So I ask and I'm trying to pray more and more. And, um, because when we pray, God answers those prayers. We can move mountains. Um, if we have faith small as a mustard seed, we can say to that mountain out there, be removed and cast into the sea and it would obey. Jesus said nothing would be impossible for us. That means if you believe it, you could fly. And any moment, all born again believers are going to fly. They're going to go up in perfectly good, good hands. Nothing to worry about. It's all taken care of. Uh, every born again believer will be transformed with a immediate everlasting joy and an eternal incorruptible body upon us that's what we will have and we push will be go up when the trumpet sounds bush will go up and we know more of this world because at the moment i know that many of you going through tough times we all are we're going through tough times i know we are um some of you know about the chemtrails well that's causing devastation across the whole earth the geoengineering uh, the weather manipulation and if you don't think it's going on please look a bit a, a dig a dip, bit deeper and you'll see that it is um even back in when kennedy was president he was talking about when we can control the weather um, then we can control the people. That's something to that effect, he said. Anyway, enough about him. <laughs> um, he's a mason. Let's talk about the Lord God Almighty, um, who's blessed forevermore. And I give you glory, Heavenly Father. And I asked him, what psalm shall I read? And I only turned a few pages and boom, I knew this one was the one to read. So it's Psalm 103. It's a Psalm of David. There's a lot in this, even though it's only short. But listen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He hath made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far have he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. 
for the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his covenants and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Love one another. That's not in there, but let me continue. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of the Lord. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Amen. So really, um, I wanted to come on here and tell you that I love you. Um, and, I, and I hope that you are alright, all of you. Um, please leave a comment. Um, let me just pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, bless everybody that's watching. Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, bless them richly and abundantly, taking away sorrow, all sorrow. Lord, make your face shine upon everybody watching. And be gracious unto everyone. Lord, lift up the light and beauty and strength and health of your countenance upon them and give them peace in jesus name deliver them protect them strengthen their hearts fill them holy spirit with fire of the lord in jesus name heal them as well in jesus mighty name amen so guys I'll just take the camera out of this tripod. Hold on a second. Difficult to get out. Ah, there. Right. So, hope you're all right. Um, the weather here, we've, we're, we're having, we've had two storms. I don't know which one is which. One of them's called Dudley and one of them's called Eunice. Um, that just reminds me of, is it, is it 2 John? I think it's 2 John. Um, I think it's Eunice in 2 John, the book of 2 John in the Bible. Um, I don't know about Dudley, though. Might be, I think, as far as I know, I think it is as well. Biblical names of these storms. I'll just show you what it's like outside. Let's take my shoes off so I can stand on the sofa. <laughs> um, so, uh, this is how it is outside. And um, I walked outside and it was... It was sunny, yeah, it was just starting to cloud over. And it, it wasn't as bad as it is now. I mean, you can see how, how much the wind is blowing by that, that aerial blowing. Um, you can probably hear it as well. Don't know, but anyway, so I go into town and um, I've just... I've just got the, the waistcoat on me, that black waistcoat that Jan gave me. And I'm nice and warm. I've got an umbrella in my bag, fortunately. And I walked downtown and it was like a monsoon torrential rain. J just out of nowhere. Um, and um, wind that suddenly just came out of nowhere with the rain. And I'm walking up the streets um battling away with my umbrella to try and hold i was holding it with one two hands to stop it from flying off or getting bust so um anyway I, I managed to stay top half of me got stayed dry and i kept the jacket dry but my legs were actually soaked so i've just got my uh trousers just hanging there next to the fire hopefully 
will dry dry soon and I'll put them back on and take off my dressing dressing gown and, and see what's what. <laughs> and the pain in the oh shit. Oops. <laughs> That's not very good, is it? Dropping the uh, trousers onto the fire. I'll just put that over there for a second. So um I'm a, I I just do um videos just just as they are, just a just the, the the raw the raw footage of everything um i could edit things out and stuff if i if i learned the problem is i haven't got patience with technology and um I, you know i could probably figure it out if i just messed around with it a bit but um i'm not very patient besides which most of the time i, I I'm, I'm answering emails and messages and which I love, keep them coming, uh, because um, I know some of you, that's the only way you can communicate with me, but uh, send me an email, I'll put my email address in the description box. Um, I just get up early in the morning and I, I try to go through the emails then. Um, so, and I, I give my number out, telephone number to a lot of people, um, because I just sensed Holy Spirit saying, yes, this is fine, you know, do this. And so I've got people talking to me from Australia, from Peru, es Esperanza, and Chris from Australia, uh, Anthony. Uh, well, there's quite a few people from the UK, but most of, most of you guys are from, from the US. And um, I love the US. I've been there. I think I've been there twice. I remember going there once. Um, I was nine and ten when we were there. We stayed there for quite a while, quite a few months. Um, we journeyed from Miami, Miami airport. Um, slowly, we visited all the different places in Florida. Um, I remember then going up to a place called Savannah in Georgia. Um, then we went up the coast, we went to North Carolina, we went to Virginia, and then Washington, D.C. Um, that's, that's, that's all I can remember. I can remember having my photo taken to the statue of um, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I can just remember thinking how boring all this was <laughs> as a little kid, you know. My mum and dad wanting to go around all these historic places. <laughs> but um, anyway... I'm, I'm just waiting for my mum and dad to send me some of the photographs of, of me in, in the States. And as soon as he does, I'll show you them. I'll show you me as a, as, as a little kid. Um, I still feel like a child a lot of the time. Um, because I am. I'm a child of the Most High. I'm not childish. I don't mean that. I mean, I, the Bible says outwardly we are perishing. But inwardly we are being renewed. And, you know... With God, you are always a child, always. You're always his child, and I believe our glorified bodies will be um, young ones and strong ones, and, well, they will, they will be. I know they will be. And Paul said, the apostle, he said, um, for I consider our present sufferings not even worthy to be compared with the amazing glory that is about to be revealed in us on the day of Jesus Christ. Because it's pre-tribulation rapture, people can argue all they want, um, doesn't matter, I still love you. I just might remove the comments if you if you fire scriptures trying to prove that um, we have to go through the tribulation because we don't. Revelation 4 onwards, there's no mention of the church. Because 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 onwards tells, tells us that we were taken up in the rapture. Um, because that which withholds the Antichrist is every born again believer which has Holy Spirit in them. The light of the world. So that light, that glory of the Lord is withholding the light of the world. Holy Spirit is withholding the Antichrist from making his appearance 
So um, I don't know. We might we we might see some man come on the world stage, but um, I, well, we've already seen him. But I doubt I doubt it. I, I, I know that we must be removed for the Antichrist to be revealed. And, um, oh, and if you're still with me after this and you haven't believed on Jesus Christ, uh, please believe now. You know, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Lay hold of your salvation. It's so important because according to the, to the Bible, uh, the Word of God, which is pure, Pure, purer than silver, refined in a furnace seven times. That's how pure it is. And it says that um, approximately two billion people will die in war, famine and death. And then another third of the population that's left will be killed. So we're talking four million, four, sorry, four billion so just imagine that you don't want to be here for what's coming so if you haven't if you haven't believed already on jesus and uh, um, please do so now because uh um you don't want to be here for what's coming it's it's going to be so severe and um god loves you you just got the decision to make um jesus said he who loves his life in this world shall lose it but he who hates his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal so um don't don't love your life so much that you won't lay hold of your salvation a lot of people say well i don't believe in god uh, you know um i'd have to see it um i'd have to see him to believe believe in him but um nobody can see god and live anyway um unless you're in the spirit um but no, please believe now because um, time is running out. Time is running out. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I'd be nicely surprised today if um, the Lord Jesus was to come because he's imminent um, and he will come any moment now. Um, so please just have faith. Have faith in Jesus, what he did for you on that cross. God loves you so much. Jesus loves you. But it's just down to you whether you're going to believe or not. Um, the truth of the matter is, we, and many people do not talk about hell, but hell is very real. Just as real as you watching me now. Um, and it's a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and wailing where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. That's for eternity, for rejecting God, because Jesus Christ is God, God in the flesh. So, it's so wonderful that God, God himself, who created this great world, died for us so that we could be saved. So... Believe on Jesus if you haven't. I need to go, guys. I need to see to my tooth already. Um, I've only got Monday to wait until, and then um, should definitely get sorted. So, thank you for all your prayers. Um, yeah, please pray for me, guys. God bless you all. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. So, when you say, bless bless them lord just by saying god bless you and meaning it it's giving them the blessing of the lord that makes rich you know adding no sorrow with it just you know two words god bless you all right guys i'm gonna get going i love you very much um uh for you will light my candle the lord my god will enlighten my darkness he can enlighten any darkness. So um, remember to call upon him because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Remember that he answers prayers. Remember to love one another, forgive one another, 
um, just love one another. All right, and I love you guys, and I'll get off. Bye for now. Um, oh, <laughs> this weekend. Um, well, well, you can see this uh, this this weather out here is it, it's looking quite grim, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's it's mad, and it's supposed to be like this tomorrow and the next day as well. So, but if if I'm well enough and we can have an opportunity, I am willing to go on the streets um, with this pain and preach the gospel. I'll just have to have a break every half hour, carry some cotton buds, clove oil. Uh, use my phone to, to see, you know, the camera to see into how to make sure I can put it on the right tooth and um, should be all right. So I know Loretta, well, Loretta texted me today um, because we're just wondering what to do. Uh, the fact is, the time is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming and I'd much rather be out there proclaiming the gospel as loud as I can, as loud as people let me, without complaining, as nicely as I can, as graciously as I can, but also, um, truthfully, I don't, I don't like to have to tell people that unless they repent and believe the gospel that they're going to hell, I don't like having to tell people that, but my gosh, um, it's the truth. And better to scare somebody into the kingdom of God so they escape damn, damnation than just say, oh, just continue as you are, everything's all right, you know. But no, no. That decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine where a person spends eternity. Think about that. This life is... Well, to the Lord, it's a, it's just a whew, one breath. That's it. That's our lives. A thousand years are as a day, because He's has no beginning. Um, um, Tim Henderson, he's a good guy. If you don't know him, most of you know him. But Tim Henderson, good teacher, sound doctrine, um, pre-trip, once saved, always saved. Good guy. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tim Henderson, he describes God as God in the person. The Trinity, he explains, as God in the persons of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those three are one because God can be in different places, you know, at different times um, but his Holy Spirit is with every single believer and will never leave us and will never forsake us so um, I'm going to cut short now because I know I have to put some of this clove oil on my tooth but um, I'll let you know as soon as I, as soon as I can uh, figure out if we can preach obviously I'll come straight on to you, here to you guys you guys who pray, all of you um, thank you for leaving your beautiful comments. Um, I'm actually more on the ball now with comments, and I've gone back um, more, more than six months to look at comments which people have left, which I didn't see, and I'm trying to get caught up with them all. Um, so sometimes I will reply to every comment, but... Uh, other times I haven't got time, but I'll always put a red heart on your comment to let you know that I do love you. I love you all and I appreciate you all. And um, I just, I think it's great. I think it's amazing. But now, thanks, thanks to uh, the internet, even though it's uh, fallen angel technology, all of this, but we're using it for good. And um, if it wasn't for this, then then through this last two years, it would have been very difficult for me. 
because um, I didn't want to be in a church that was banning singing, that um, had markers on the floor to make sure that people keep that six feet away from each other and um, masks. <laughs> so I thought that for me, that wasn't my cup of tea, you know. Um, I've gone since the, right at the beginning of the pandemic, that's when I stopped going to churches, you know, church buildings, because the Bible says we are the church. We are the body of Christ. Each of us is a living stone of the temple of God, every born again believer. And every born again believer is going up in the rapture. Everyone. And that's sound doctrine. The pre-tribulation is sound doctrine. And um, I, I used to go backwards and forwards with pre-trib, mid-trib, uh, post-trib. I used to... I, I listened to false teachers which can't try to convince me that I could lose my salvation. And while I was, while I was doubting the, you know, and going backwards and forwards, my mind was unsettled and my heart was troubled. But now, because I'm standing on sound doctrine and ordered my conversation aright, because of that, I feel more at ease. And it also makes me more urgent to preach the gospel um, because I know once you realize that it's pre trib rapture and Jesus is coming at any moment it makes you more fervent and uh, you know um, you want more people to be saved and you want you declaring you'll declare it and you'll tell people in fact guys I, I urge you to tell everybody tell everybody how how simple it is to be saved just by believing on Jesus' sacrifice for us on the cross and calling upon him, not being ashamed to call upon the name of the Lord. Um, and I'm making this video too long. I keep saying I'm getting off and <laughs> I keep rabbiting on. Oh my gosh, I, have, I will upload this. I will because I'm not making a second one. So <laughs> I love you all. Um, thank you. I thank God for you all, all of you. And um, you're wonderful guys, and then um, see you soon.